My name is Jeremy Fish. I am an artist, illustrator, painter, maker of all sorts of different things. Uh, I live in North Beach and I have lived in San Francisco and been making art here for the last 20 years. It's me. Currently, I'm working on an animation project with my friend and neighbor, Brady Baltazar, uh, where we take a, a collect this collection of 100 drawings that I've been working on for the last 20 years or so, and uh, using Adobe's Creative Cloud, uh, I share the drawings with Brady, Brady takes the drawings and animates them, and then we're going to take them and project them really large on the side of a building, almost like a, uh, an animated like moving mural is kind of the concept. Uh, for an upcoming art show I have uh, at Fecal Face Gallery in August. I got my start in the skateboard industry doing board graphics um, and doing a lot of production, like screen printing production. Uh, that was what I went to school for was screen printing and I worked for wallpaper companies and t-shirt companies and giant print shops printing skateboards and posters and t-shirts and from that I kind of struck out on my own doing commercial illustration and balancing that with gallery shows and Today I still pretty much make my living balancing uh, commercial illustration projects and signature illustration collaborations with painting for gallery shows and making public sculptures and just a, a juggler of all things art, both commercial and fancy capital A fine art. This year, being the 20th year that I've lived in San Francisco, uh, I decided it was finally time to like go through my flat files and kind of pour over these drawings. Like I'd always save them thinking Someday it would be cool to have like, not like a retrospective necessarily, but just like take this massive army of sort of the core of all of my work, whether it was a mural or a t-shirt or a, whatever thing you saw that I did, somewhere in, in along the road it started as an 11 by 14 black and white drawing. And they look rad when there's a ton of them. Like it's one of those things where three black and white drawings this big or meh. But if you see hundreds of them, it's actually really intense. And for me, it's kind of like going down memory lane. like. I can look through this stack of thousands of these black and white drawings and literally remember like ex-girlfriends and studios and apartments I lived in and neighborhoods I lived in and dudes I skated with and the content for my stuff, which for most of my career has been like a story from a guy I knew or something I saw or a friend I had or that apartment building I lived in. And a lot of the content for my stuff comes from real basic day-to-day -day life shit like that. And so... When you go back and you look through all these drawings, it's really just like a funny reminder of all the places I've been and the things I've done in the 20 years I've lived in San Francisco. I can draw a lot better than I could in 94, so it's like, put your mind and your imagination back into the body of 20-year-old you, but draw with the hand of 40-year-old you. And so I think the drawings I'm doing as a result of sorting through all these old ones are going to be kind of powerful because it's like, not only inspired by my past and the things that influenced me and the reasons I moved here and my, my tastes and my interests at 20 years old, but it's also like all of the shit that's happened to me as a result of moving here that gets thrown in on top of them. So yeah, it's like the show I think is going to be called uh, Yesterdays and Tomorrows, and it's kind of like taking a look at your yesterdays and using that to build some tomorrows. I got your honor under the armpit, the gavel slam and I walk. Hammer dancers on the porch, downtown, gallivanting with the horse. Two different drugs to choose, I need the third thing. Oriental style shirt, flapping in the wind like a bird's wing. I need that good green, uh, motherfucker, need the good green.